Welcome back folks, my name is Last No Meal and today we have some crazy news. CDPR has just officially announced the next Witcher game. Yes, it's happening. And I was running from the city to here so I can actually get this in time and so I can make a video. But yes, CDPR has officially announced the next Witcher game. It's happening, it's happening somehow this fast. I was not expecting this. Now let's see what they have for us. So first off, they posted this image which clearly actually states that uh, we're gonna be doing something with the school of the cat. Initially I thought it's gonna be like school of the bear because I saw snow and school of the bear is from Skelligus, so I was thinking maybe it's going to be that. But no, we can see here that it's going to be a school of the cat. Is it going to be single player or multiplayer? We don't know. Is it going to have a new protagonist? Obviously we know that Geralt of Rivia is done, so do not expect get out of Rivia. When they say new saga, they mean a different character, but I don't know if this is going to be a sequel or a prequel. They also said this, we're happy to announce that the next installment in the Witcher series video games is currently in development, kicking off a new saga for the franchise. This is an exciting moment, as we're moving from Red Engine to Unreal Engine 5, beginning a multi-year strategic partnership with Epic Games. Okay, this is interesting. It covers not only licensing but technical development of Unreal Engine 5, as well as potential future versions of Unreal Engine where relevant. We we'll closely collaborate with Epic Games developers with the primary goal of being uh, to help tailor the game engine for open world experiences. At this point, no further details regarding the game such as development time, frame or release date are available. Red Engine, the technology which powers Cyberpunk 2077 pretty much, The Witcher 3, The Witcher 2, The Witcher 1 was done in a different engine, I believe that was Aurora Engine, but it was the staple of CDPR through this entire years, but this is the first time they're moving away from it completely. What's gonna be happening again with, um, you know, Red Engine? It's obviously gonna be used for Cyberpunk 2077 and development of upcoming Cyberpunk 2077 expansion. I hope this is expansion, sir. But yeah, this is the first time that CDPR is moving away into a new engine and this time doing a deal with Epic Games. Wow. So what does this mean? Well, first off, it doesn't mean that we're getting the next Witcher game anytime soon. What happened here probably is that they finalized the deal and that's done and now they're moving for that development. Gonna be honest, I was not expecting this reveal to happen this fast because they just have had Cyberpunk 2077. They have expansions to do DLC, so I'm expecting, okay, maybe after they're done with that, they're gonna be focusing on the Witcher. But to announce it this fast, it's insane. Now, first off, again, we don't have a release date. And I do hope that CDPR has learned from their previous mistakes and everything which has happened with Cyberpunk 2077 release so it doesn't happen again. One of the things here is most likely, you know, moving to Unreal Engine 5 because there's only, I guess, so much you can do in Red Engine and it seems they were not happy with it and it does seem that the engine would be causing more issues further on down the line when it comes to their next game. So if it is what it is, if it requires them to sacrifice their engine, which they used so they could benefit later on, for me that's okay. But this is a very surprising twist and to have the game announced this fast is insane. Again, so far when it comes to the protagonist and everything else, obviously so far we just see school of the, wool, uh, of the uh, cat medallion, nothing else. Is it going to be a predefined character, someone uh, from the lore? Is it going to be us creating our character? It's impossible to know right now and most likely we're not going to find out for years. Hopefully this is not the same mistake they have made with Cyberpunk 2077 where it was announced too early because again that would be a problem and we know what was happening so I do hope they just keep it quiet and just work on the game and when it's finally ready when you think it's finally ready, then say something. Honestly, we can wait. It's alright. It's The Witcher. Please, please, please let it be good and everything is gonna be fine. I know that everyone is probably confused right now. I was confused as well because I, I didn't realize this is happening. I thought, like, is this April, like, April Fool's joke? I don't know. What's going on? But yeah, this is not... Uh, April Fools, this is done by the main CDPR studio, so this is not some thing they're gonna be giving to their new studios, that's not happening, this is the game made by the main CDPR studio. 
how much the game is going to change now that a bunch of people from the original Witcher 3 development are gone, we don't know. And we cannot know until the release happens, but I hope they learn from it. And of course, whenever they release something, I will of course cover it on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe for more. Don't forget to tell me down below what do you think about this and I will have more videos on this. Let's just wait for everything to kind of calm down a little bit because I'm also a little bit crazy today. So, you know, when it calms down, we're gonna talk more about it, but for now, this is what they said. Damn, this is huge. And um, yeah, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter and Discord. I will be posting more there. And also, huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out. Stay classy, everyone. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.